Hi everyone, this is Greg here and today I will show you how to create barcodes in Excel. Creating barcodes in Microsoft Excel is very easy and only takes a few minutes. And I will show you the exact step-by-step -step process to convert any text or any number into a very nice looking and 100% working barcode like what you can see here on the screen. There is a special barcode generator Excel font that makes creating these barcodes a very straightforward process and it's dynamic as well. So if I change this to another number, you will see that instantly this barcode gets updated. So let's do this step by step. The first thing that you'll need to do is head over to this website called 1001fonts.com barcode-fonts.html. The link to this is also in the description below. So you can just click that to go to this website directly and then download this very first font that is called IDA hc 39 m code 39 so click the download button then save this file into any folder that you prefer by default most browsers will put it into the downloads folder let's click save then open this saved file location in your browser and you will want to extract these files in windows the simplest way to do this is to right click and click extract all and then give this folder any name that you prefer and extract it and then head over to the location of the extracted file. So I am in downloads, Excel font, and then this new created folder. Now we will want to enter into this subfolder and you will want to find this file that is called ID Automation HC39M Code 39 Barcode. If you have the extensions enabled on your computer, then look for the file with a TTF extension. The type of the file should be true type font file. Then you will need to install this font. So go into the bottom left and click the start button to bring up the start menu and then type in F O N T to bring up the font settings menu. Once you've got the font settings area open and your browser with the font location open just drag this ttf file this font file onto the area within the fonts menu that says drag and drop usually there is no confirmation message but you will see at the bottom the recently installed fonts are coming up right here in the top left of all of your font activity if you're not sure whether the installation worked or not you can just drag and drop this file again and it should give you an error message that says that it's already installed that's how you know that the installation has worked. Next, let's recreate these barcodes from scratch. So I'm going to delete all the data that I've got here in this spreadsheet. Next, let's enter our barcode data into column A. So for this example, I've got two values for us. One is just numerical values and the other one is a mix of text and numbers. The first thing that we will want to do is to make sure that our values are stored as text in a text format. So let's select the whole column or you can just choose the individual cells that you're working with and let's go to the formats bar and select the text option. So you will want to make sure that these are formatted as text. In column B, we will have our barcodes. So we will have to use a formula and that formula is quite simple. Let's type in equals and then we will want to open bracket like this, then type in the ampersand symbol and then we will want to put in the cell reference where the value is stored. So in this case, it's A1, where you can simply click on the A1 cell, then another ampersand, and then we will want to close the bracket. And we can now press enter. This will wrap this value in brackets. This is required for the special barcode font to work properly. Now we can copy and paste the same formula into the cell below. Now our B column is ready to be converted to barcodes. For that, we will need to select both columns and then just choose the barcode font. Go into your font area and scroll down until you see this font that says ID AHC 39 M. If you can't see this font, then save the document, close Excel, and then reopen Excel again, your font list will refresh. And if you skipped the step of installing the font, then go back to the start of the video. I show exactly where to get this font and how to install it. That's it, our barcodes are now done. I'll just need to expand them a little bit so that they can actually fit into the cell. You can, of course, also reduce the size of the fonts. I just made these bigger for this tutorial. I've used these barcodes many times. They work really great with all of the scanning apps here is one example. You can see that 
it has scanned and it has recognized this code. There we can see that the scanning app recognized it as Greg1234. That's how simple and easy it is to create a barcode in Microsoft Excel. If you enjoyed this video and found it useful, then smash the like button just below this video. Subscribe to my channel to never miss my future tech tutorials. And here is a great video for you to watch next. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video.